Hello, this video is to go through the two applications I'm using for my solar and my power walls. We'll start with Tesla. As you see here, this is the same app that my car uses. Three power walls, you can tell there's three of them because it says 3x. Currently they're charging because they discharged overnight. Once they reach 100%, then I'll start giving back. I'll start spinning my meter backwards. Next up we have the backup history. The backup history shows any outages from my electrical grid. Right now, there haven't been any since this system was installed October 24th. Then we go into the performance. And for performance, you can see that on November the 1st, 96% was self-powered. There's 4% where I had to pull from the grid. And that's because I plugged in my car yesterday morning. Had I not had to charge my car, I probably would have been 100% for November the first. What I'm trying to do is decide how much of my batteries to use at night. That was 80%. 80% usage. This is 70% usage. And as you notice, there's a big difference between 80% and 70% as far as my uh, performance. So here's 70% and then here's 80%. 80% I'm almost self-sufficient. However, 80% requires a longer charge. A longer charge means less time spinning the meter backwards. Next, we'll take a look at power flow. Power flow shows the direction that the power is going. Currently, we're producing 14.8 kilowatts, which is my maximum my solar produces. 2.7 is being generated, is being used by the house. 12.2 is being used to charge the power walls. Once the power walls are charged, that 12.2 will then turn and start going left toward the grid and will start spinning the meter backwards. In the top right hand corner, you see a graft. And if you tap on that graft, it opens up your energy usage. And you have different choices. If I switch to yesterday and I turn on the solar, the power wall, and the grid, you'll see that the power wall was powering the house. And then there's a little blip there at six o'clock where the grid picked up and started powering the house. Right around seven o'clock, the power wall started charging. So I had enough solar to start charging the power wall. But notice the power wall kicked back in at nine o'clock. If I put the house on here, you'll see that was when I plugged in my car and the power wall had to kick in to kind of supplement the house energy. Next, let's look at October 31st. October 31st is a good example of what happens when a cloud moves in. If you look at four o'clock, you'll notice the power wall had to kick in and you'll notice that the sun went down. So that was right about the time that a cloud moved overhead. But you can see I still spun the meter backwards. The gray was my electrical usage for the day from my meter. If I remove the green and the yellow, which is the power wall and the solar, you'll see nothing but my electrical usage. There's three little spikes there. However, for the majority of the day, I was off the grid. And it shows from grid 1.7 kilowatt hours. So obviously, I gave back more than I used. Next, let's take a look at the OnPhase app, which is my solar app. This is called Enlighten. This app shows the actual production of the solar system, and it's produced by the microinverter company OnPhase. Its job is to demonstrate and show the output and the production of my solar panels. The OnPhase app is the main reason that I bought these particular microinverters. What I wanted to see was I wanted to see the production of each panel. So as you see, you have an overall production graph that shows you how much you've produced during the day. But then you have an area that shows you what each panel is producing. And that's what this is. This shows me the production and the output of each panel that we have. So this allows me to actually see if each panel is producing what I feel it should be producing. And it allows me to actually monitor each panel. And not only can I monitor each panel live, but I can also monitor each panel as far as each day. So I can back up to November 1st and see what the total production was for each panel on November 1st. And also I can look for the entire year um, 
course system's only been up and running for a few days so those are the two apps that I have available to me to monitor my solar system and my energy production thanks for watching this video